Hi, church family. This is announcement time, and I am coming to you with several announcements. Uh, first of all, these are interesting times to try to figure out the best ways to communicate with the most amount of people, all different ages. So let me just tell you, two of the top ways we are trying to keep our communication going. Number one is through Friday e-news from Pat. Um, there's some announcements at the top and then at the bottom it says click on newsletter and within that click on the newsletter there's a lot of information. So I know those are a few steps but that will keep you informed and I hope that you will take the time to do that. Uh, second way that is equally important is YouTube. We have created a Skyland YouTube channel and you go youtube.com and then Skyland United Methodist Church and you look at our cross with the blue and red, our symbol logo and click on that and you will see a plethora of videos. Um, the most up-to-date ones, which should be at the top, those are going to include sermons and prayers and children's messages and now mission moments and now announcements. So YouTube and Friday e-news are the best ways to stay connected. For those who don't have email and computers, which we have assessed to be about 15 people in the church, uh, we are staying connected with them through Keep in Touch and Dan and myself calling them. If you know of people who need to be called, please let myself or Dan know. Uh, it is our desire to stay connected with everyone. Number three, I bet you're wondering, when are we going to get back to worship? We are also wondering that, but I can let you know that we are diligently especially Dan, working on the details of this and desperately want to get back together when it is safe. So, um, there was an email sent out from Pat on May the 1st from Dan, and it was entitled, We Will Gather Again. Please look at that in terms of the answer to that question because there's a lot of information. If I sat here, it would be 10 minutes in this video. But May the 1st, there was an email that was sent out. If you did not get that, and if you are not getting emails from Pat, please call the church office and let us know your email and say, hey, I'm not getting the emails. I want those. Um, also, if you would like the church directory, call the church and Pat can attach that as a document to you with the names of everyone in the church. Uh, for those who are members or active in the church. Uh, let's see, mission team. The mission team is going to continue sharing ways that we see faith in action. So if you have something that you are doing in the community to help, or if you know of something, please let me know because we wanna continue sharing those on our Skyland YouTube channel with you. This past week, I visited Barb and Jack in the, our community garden. Hope you saw that. Next, I'm feeling like Jimmy Fallon. I don't know if any of you watched the Tonight Show, but I love Jimmy Fallon, and um, I'm feeling his um, vibes right now. Nan Milner turns 95 this Sunday. Woo! Happy birthday, Nan. We love you. You're an inspiration. Your granddaughter is in my confirmation class, Isla, and your grandson and granddaughter-in-law, Noah and, and uh, Leslie, are in our church, and your other granddaughter, Lily. So anyway, happy birthday, Nan. We love you. You're an inspiration. My goodness. Wow. It's exciting. Eight of our, if you're wondering who's doing what, eight of our small groups are Zooming including children, youth, and confirmation class who last Sunday made their stoles during our class together in anticipation of when they will be joining the church, which will not be on Pentecost now, hopefully in the fall, but we're having fun connecting in that way. And um, those small groups, those other small groups, there are about nine other ones that are staying connected through email and phone calls. And Last but certainly not least, our COVID fund has raised $16,600. Wow. 
Thank you, church family. You are inspirational. And we have dispersed 3,100 of that those dollars to families in need. Um, if you need help, please know that we are here to help you. This is not a time a lot of us will be asking for the first time for help and know that you're not alone in that. Others have, have had needs and we want to know if you are in need of help. Um, and if so, that email has been sent to the church family for the form, but if you don't have that, contact me, contact Dan, or call the church office and we will get you that form. Um, so those are the announcements and love to all of you i cannot wait till we can get back together and truly sending all of you a big hug and and love from all of us um, on the church staff